You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. By going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com, you can make this possible. Folks, let's go to California where Jasmine Koenig, who has been championing for Jamel Moore's murder uh, being brought to justice, has finally won. Letitia Nixon, Jamel Moore's mother, is so grateful for everyone's support that she sent Jasmine this video to release to the press. Don't forget, remember, Ed Buck, of course, was picked up uh, and charged for the over, uh, the, uh, giving drugs to one man for an overdose. Now, on the federal level, they're going to charge him for the deaths of two black gay men who died in his apartment. This is the video of Jamel Moore's mother. Hey, y'all. My name is Letitia Nixon. I am Jamel Moore's mom. I am happy. I, I knew that this day was going to come um, when we were going to get justice for my son. It's all I ever wanted from the beginning was for Jackie Lacey to do her job. That's all. I, I didn't ask for no special favors. I just asked for her to do her job. That was it. Everything was in front of her. We tried to deliver ballots. They treated us like we were criminals. Jackie Lacey wouldn't let us in the office. Nothing. Um, but nonetheless, I'm just so grateful that my team did not give up. And we kept pressing. We kept pressing Jasmine Canick and all the rest of my team, my lawyers, Hussein, Nana, and everybody just kept pushing. I just want to thank everybody who stood with us. Thank you so much. We're so grateful. Um, I'm just excited. And we're all going to get the justice we deserve. Uh, Jackie Lacey is the DA there in L.A. And I would dare say, Amisha, when she runs a re-election, it's going to be more people line up to run against her than if Popeye's had uh, uh, chicken sandwiches <laughs> right <laughs> now. Uh, because she's been awful. And she, black people have been really upset. Her office didn't do a damn thing. When it came, he is only being charged on the federal level mm -hmm. because her office would not prosecute him for the de for those deaths of those two black men. And this, and this is a black female DA. This case is beyond me, um, first and foremost, because families of victims, those who, of course, those who died, but also those who came near death, because we don't hear about those often. But there were 20 men who almost died from these, from these overdoses. And the families have been petitioning. They have been protesting. They have gone to her over and over and over again, and she has completely ignored him ignored them. And I think that it, it speaks to a greater issue here. Um, a lot of people have pointed to the fact that he was a heavy Democratic donor, but it's more than that. It is the fact that there are a lot of folks, and even some who also happen to be Democrats, who honestly don't care when the victims are homeless, indigent, gay black men, period. If those victims had have been people of a higher profile, we would have seen action swifter. We did not see it in this case, and it frustrates me that two men literally died and no one cared. First of all, we didn't even hear it in the news until years after it happened after the first one. And the second guy died, and it broke news six months later. It stayed on the news for about 30 minutes. Nobody talked about it ever again. It allowed this guy to go ahead and keep, you know, tracing guys, following guys, tricking them into coming to his place, and still injecting them with drugs. He's been doing this for years. It's been an open secret in West Hollywood for a very long time. She's, all, she's a part of this issue in terms of not actually, you know, pursuing justice, but there are also a lot of other individuals over the years who have helped him out by ignoring the fact that he's going around West Hollywood and literally taking advantage of a very disadvantaged community. Uh, Michael, we were one of the few shows nationally to really focus on this. Uh, very, very few. And again, uh, this, this, this was real. And to have authorities act as if one guy dies, no real investigation. Second guy dies, no real investigation. Third person commits, uh, I mean, ODs. Now all of a sudden, oh, but I guess we better jump on this whole thing. Well, first, and co-sign with what my sister said to my left, um, but point of uh, personal privilege. Uh, as the former chair of the Statehood Self-Determination Committee when I was on the D.C. City Council. I want to congratulate um, our, our warrior on the hill, as we call her, uh, for moving this ball forward as we try to start the statehood movement. And she's right. This fight has been going on for quite some time. Every argument has been thrown at us. And now we're making some progress. But I think we also have to remember history. Uh, in the early 90s, when Clinton was president, we had the Democratic House and Democratic Senate and did nothing in that first term. Same with Obama. Obama presidency, Senate, and Democratic House, and did nothing. Hopefully, we'll learn from our mistakes and not say, oh, we can take care of it later. This is a first-tier priority issue. I'm proud of our warrior on the Hill. Chris? 
Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I agree with, with your analysis here. And part of the problem with the DA was, in fact, that she received campaign contributions from him. And so from her perspective, it's like, okay, so do I do justice or do I take campaign uh, contributions? That's part of the issue. But I think you're right. The larger issue is who else was complicit in this? That's the larger issue. We can talk about the fact that he was a big Democratic donor. Okay, fine. We can talk about that. But that's the, it, it is a larger issue. And it is about the fact that, as you correctly indicated, uh, you know, you have this marginalized uh, population and who he is free to take advantage of because nobody cares. And that, that's exactly, I think, what happened in this case. And again, just get a black DA there is one thing, but at least one who pays attention. Yeah. Jackie Lacey has been awful. Oh, she's awful. been horrible. And for her not to prosecute this guy, first time, second time, and the only reason... The only reason he's being charged is on a federal, federal level. level. She's not now taking out her hands. Job. Right. She's out of her hands. No job. All right, All right folks. Back to that Rollmark unfiltered video in just one moment. Folks, November 7th through 11th, uh, we're going to be in Los Cabos, Mexico, for the Life Lux Jazz, the second annual Life Lux Jazz Experience. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, we're going to have, of course, great music over four days, golf and spa. We're going to sit here, and, man, you talk about food, uh, you talk about uh, libations, also known as liquor. Uh, it's going to be loads of fun. So while people are freezing in the Northeast, let's go hang out in Mexico. I'm going to be doing Roller Martin Unfiltered from there that Thursday and Friday in front of a studio audience. Y'all can all come join us. Uh, so come hang out with me and so many others. It's going to be absolutely great, of course. Uh, we're going to be uh, at uh, Day, Club, uh, Los, uh, Day Club Los Cabos, nestled on the Sea of Cortez. Uh, they're in Los Cabos. The great people we got lined up for you folks. Amazing. Uh, of course, comedian and actor Mark Curry. Of course, Gerald Albright, my frat brother, Alex Bunyong, Raul Madan, Incognito, Pieces of a Dream, Kirk Whalem, Average White Band. We're going to have the Gospel Experience with Donnie McClurkin, Shalaya, Roy Ayers, Tom Brown, Ronnie Laws, Ernest Quarles. Uh, some new hotels have opened up. For more information, go to lifeluxjazz.com. It's lifeluxjazz.com. L-I-F-E-L-U-X-E-J-A-Z-Z.com. Uh, you want to book it now, of course, to get your package, but also you want to have a much cheaper uh, airfare as well. And so, trust me, it's going to be an absolute fun time. I cannot wait to go. And trust me, you want to do it as well. Lifeluxjazz.com. Back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.